everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Movies in the Man Cave, and it's a very special episode because we have our first ever guest host. Howdy. This is Ryan, he's my older brother, so Jared's brother-in-law. Out there, probably. Yes. And he has joined us because this week is the first time we're going to do this for a full episode. We're going to be doing Flick Chart. And what that is, if you've seen it in our mini episodes, is we go to flickchart.com, and they give you two movies, and you just pick which one's better, which sounds really dumb and really easy, but it's... It quite gets, complex yeah, and quite hard. fun. And it's more fun with three people because Jared and I would often split and not know what to do. So now I would have a... You have a tiebreaker. Yes. Ryan is a tiebreaker and hopefully he sides with me. <laughs> so we'll get right into it and uh, follow along. Our first matchup is Planet of the Apes, the movie that came out in 2001 starring Mark Wahlberg. Marky Mark. And Wayne's World, which came out in 1992. Wayne's World. Wayne's yeah, World. It's really a no-brainer. The, the movie was good, Planet of the Apes, up until maybe the last five minutes, which, or even the last 30 seconds. Yeah, it's the last 30 and seconds. And that's all I remember. It, it ended yeah. so poorly. That's what sticks in I wonder, is there a director's cut with, like, a separate ending there that they put be, on there? But I don't think that there is. All right, Wayne's World it is. Okay, our next matchup is Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, versus Armageddon with Bruce Willis and Ben Affleck. Lord of the Rings! Yeah. Lord of the Rings. We're pretty big dorks, I think, all of us. <laughs> so that's really a no-brainer Plus as well. Plus, that's, that's basically the best one that was out there. So. Uh, yes, it is my favorite Lord of the Rings. Okay, uh, we have The Day After Tomorrow, which is not too widely acclaimed, versus Batman Forever, which is the one with the Riddler and Two-Face. I didn't dislike Day After Tomorrow. Day After Tomorrow? I would, I would watch that over Batman Forever. I would have to disagree. Um... Had it been Batman and Robin, I would totally go with the After Tomorrow. But Batman Forever was actually pretty all right. Like Jim Carrey was a great Riddler. I agree there. So, I agree there. Um, that would be my vote is Batman. I, I would go with Day After Tomorrow. I liked it substantially more than 2012, which came out last year. They're a very similar type movie, but I thought yeah. Day After Tomorrow was a lot better. And from what I hear, it has less plain climaxes. I think it About has 12 seven. less. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it had better actors. Yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal and. Uh, Dennis Quaid in it, and I like both of them. So, so that's two to one. Day after tomorrow. Uh, comedy matchup: We have the Wedding Crashers versus Hot Fuzz. I'm starting. Oh, You're starting okay. this one. Um, man, I I really love the Wedding Crashers, so I'm gonna have to go with that one. Just uh, both are really really funny, but I guess rewatchability trumps all. So. Wedding Crashers. I was surprised how much I liked Wedding Crashers. I didn't expect to. I don't see it as your type of movie. I, I will pick Hot Fuzz over it, but I was surprised how much I did like it. Uh, I'll take Hot Fuzz. It's just so much fun to watch in conjunction with uh, Shaun of the Shaun Dead, of the just because so much intertwines and you know play off each other so well. Uh, I agree. Wedding Crashers, excellent comedy, but Hot Fuzz, I'm a Simon Pegg fan, mm -hmm. so I, I gotta go there. Jared, you lose again. I do. Okay, our next matchup has us with Collateral with Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx versus Spider-Man 3. Want to take first this time? Uh, I don't really want to take first because I really don't know which way I want to go on this one. Really? I'll go first. Collateral all the way. Spider-Man 3 sucked. <laughs> I, I like Collateral a lot. I, I watched Spider-Man 3 again and I don't think it was as bad as I thought the first time. I don't, I didn't like Collateral a ton. I don't know what it was. It was just a different role for Tom Cruise that didn't strike me the right way. And I'm not a Jamie Foxx fan. I haven't really cared for too much that he's been in before. So I would, I would actually go with Spider-Man 3, despite most people hating it. Anything with emo Tobey Maguire, get it out of here. Do you guys both pick Lateral? I like Lateral, yeah. Hmm. Our next lineup has Die Hard, the original, and Signs from M. Night Shyamalan. Me? Oh, sure. Man. Uh, I'm gonna go with signs. <clears throat> I go die hard. Yeah. I Absolutely know. die hard. I know. I Absolutely know. die hard. Where's your Christmas spirit? Uh, okay, sorry, die hard. Yeah. <laughs> hey. No. No. Man card revoked. I signs know. is a good movie. It's probably my second favorite from Shyamalan, and it, it, I loved it the first time I saw it, except for you know it's a dumb ending. And that's what it is. It's not. Ending. Good for rewatching, but Die Hard. I know. I just think of like how how bad Signs actually like spooked me when I watched it, and I guess to that like 
Yippee Kaye, Jared. All right, we've got a pair of sequels. We have X2 X Men United, and we have The Matrix Reloaded, which is the second one in that series as well. I love to go with Matrix just for the car chase. That's a good point. I'll watch that movie and I'll just skip to the car chase and I'll watch that and that's all I need. It's half hour. I mean, it's yeah. practically a movie in and of itself. So, uh, I will disagree. I will pick X Men simply for Wolverine. That was, in my opinion, the best of all the X Men movies that have come out, and mostly because it revolved around him and it wasn't dumb like X Men Origins Wolverine was. So I, I would, I would pick X Men for you that. Liked it better than the first one? I did like it better than the first one. I think the second one was the best in the series. I'm going with Matrix. Mm -hmm. um, like yeah, it, for me, it's more than the car chase, but the car chase is amazing. So, Matrix. All right, fair enough. Uh, ooh, good matchup. I like this one. We have Goldeneye, the first Bond with Pierce Brosnan versus Blade with Wesley Snipes. That is a good one. That's a good matchup. That's tough. I would have to go with Goldeneye. I think it uh, rebooted. Yeah. The, not rebooted, but gave us a new brand of Bond movie and then got more ridiculous after that before we got the next before it got better, version. Yeah. But uh, GoldenEye itself was great. It spawned an awesome video game. Um, <laughs> I do like Blade. And uh, some of the graphics are kind of cheesy now if you watch it. So that's that's tough, but uh, I'd take GoldenEye. Chris Brosnan was a good Bond. I think GoldenEye just for the sole fact of Alan Cummings' clicky pen. Uh, I totally off. forgot that was Alan Cummings. Oh, yeah. I never would have put that together. Nightcrawler from your X-Men movie. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, it's decided then. I would go with Blade. Blade? Over Goldeneye. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Had a good theme song for Goldeneye, too. One of the better yeah. Bond songs. It is a good song. We should sing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys. We have Pretty Woman. With my favorite is Richard Gere mm -hmm. versus Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> They're not all winners. <laughs> it's like which crap smells less. I, I would watch Star Wars over Pretty Woman. Yeah, I'm same boat. Yeah, <laughs> it's unfortunate that we have to pick one. Yeah. Okay, next lineup we have Jurassic Park versus Starship Troopers, which is getting a remake. If you have not heard, really? Of it. Yes, it will be getting a remake. Hmm. I don't think they should do that. Supposedly more true to the original book story version, but I don't know. So anyway, the lineup is Jurassic Park versus Starship Troopers. I like Starship Troopers a lot. I'm going Jurassic Park. Yeah. You, can't, you can't mess with Spielberg, and the graphics and CG. For the time, were outstanding. I mean, and they hold up. You can't. You don't can't watch the movie today up, and pick though. things out because yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, because yeah. they they like good music. It was CG, but they also did a lot of animatronics. So right, which was and, key. Yeah, exactly. I don't think too many of the bugs were animatronics in <laughs> Starship Troopers. There's probably one or two. Good point. The one the score, John Williams, excellent yeah. in Jurassic Park. Yeah. One more good one. Sure. Beauty and the Beast mm. versus Jumanji. Of all the Disney movies, Beauty and the Beast gets the most songs stuck in my head, actually. I think that could be. The, I the, understand. The guest on. That and Aladdin, yeah. maybe, but yeah. Um, I don't know about Jumanji, though. Jumanji was one of my favorite movies as a kid. It's another one that suffers from premature aging. If you've watched it recently, all the I haven't. animals and stuff are not good. The monkeys. Um, but. You know what? No, I'd, I'd pick Beauty and the Beast as the better movie, I would say. Agreed. Beauty and the Beast. Beast, yep. I All like right. Jumanji. It's fun. But, we'll wrap yeah. up picking Beauty and the Beast as the winner. Says these Super guys. duper. Yeah, well, I guess so. <laughs> says us. All right. So that is flickchart.com. You can go out there, create a profile, and do this for yourself. And you can even find us and friend us. Search for Movies in the Man Cave with spaces in it. Mm -hmm. I messed that up earlier today. So there's spaces in it. Search for that on Flickchart and uh, apply to be our friend. And we will totally friend you back. And you can see our list of how things stack up on our all-time favorites list. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let's move on to our quote winner from last week. Yep. Yeah, we had a quote winner on Facebook. Cody, who was that? Uh, that would be my beautiful wife, Candace. <laughs> uh, you have, I think you picked the quote last I did, week. And, and it's a movie that... 
It's, she, it's, it's, it's like one of her, her favorites. favorites yeah. So I think we'll bring the quote up from the bottom this time. Yeah, so let's take a look at it first. Death cannot stop true love. All it can do is delay it for a while. Very mushy, so no, no wonder she got it. That is yeah. The Princess Bride with Carrie Elwes and... Also on my list of shame of movies I definitely need to see sometime. Princess Bride? Yep. Uh, you know, I didn't see it till uh, I started dating Candace, and then she made me watch it. It's not one we had as a kid for some reason, but it's a good kids movie. Mm -hmm. Very fairy tale, fantastical, and... Uh, I like it. Yeah, really good. Really good. Heard good things. So, congratulations, honey, dear. <laughs> Way to go. There was no cheating. There was no favoritism, I swear. Oh, no. No. Uh, I'm not all about that. So. I even blamed her about using Google, and then she threatened to kill me. Yeah. So. She, she's very particular about her Princess Bride. She knows the movie. <laughs> yes. All right. So Ryan has picked out a quote for us this week since he's guest hosting. Do you remember how it goes? Uh, I think so. Um, I don't mind being the smartest man in the world. I just wish, wish it wasn't this one. And the quote is... That's a joke. I pretend to be the smartest man in the world. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little slow on the uptake there. You see, we're not used to having humor on the show. No. So. Mm. You gotta, you gotta slow it down for us. Um, I guessed a movie when he said it. I was wrong. See if you can do better than me. And Jared, tell him where to put the answers. Hit us up on Facebook.com slash Movies in the Man Cave or our YouTube channel, our Area Voices page, or our Twitter, at Man Cave Movies. Awesome. All right. We got uh, two movies worth mentioning coming to the theaters. One I'm just going to mention so I can trash it, and that's Alvin and the Chipmunks. Chipwrecked. Instead of shipwrecked, right, they right. put the C. Because That's almost worse than the squeakle. Yes, <laughs> it's, it's right up there. So I'm not interested in it at all. I'm really, really sad to see that Jason Lee is still participating in these movies. I really like him a lot from My Name is Earl mm -hmm. and all the earlier stuff that Mall he had been in. Yep, and all Kevin Smith movies. So it's a shame that he has resorted to this, but... It's unfortunate. Yes. Also sad to see the chipmunks are still doing that. You think they would have bowed out by now. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Some I think they come out at holiday time just because people know the song, the Chipmunks. I don't know that anybody knows the Chipmunks. I don't think kids know what the Chipmunks were before they saw the Chipmunks movies. That's too bad. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, I do now. Pretty good. I do now. Uh, the other movie coming out that I want to talk about is Sherlock Holmes. Game, uh, of Game of Shadows. I was gonna say Game of Thrones, but that's that one that's show. show. Yeah. <laughs> Game of Shadows. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law Jude are back for the sequel. What did you guys think of the first one? Loved it. I liked the first one a lot. I liked it. I don't think I liked it as well as I should have. I sometimes have trouble like with accents that I'm not picking up like all the mm. words that are being said. And I think I was watching on a DVR and I didn't have subtitles. So I was like, okay. Pull it down, guys. Uh, so, what does blimey mean? Let yeah, me I gotta look this up. But besides that, I, I love the part where they slow everything down when he's analyzing. I hope they do more movie that way. So, definitely looking forward to that coming out. I think it comes out Friday. I believe so. So, check that one out. Please get Alvin in the chipmunks. <laughs> Give your money to Sherlock. Yes, please. Uh, I think that's it for this week. Yep. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks so much, Ryan, for guest hosting. It was nice to have you here. Uh, I think we're skipping a mini episode this weekend. Probably. Uh, we just don't have time. But join us next week when we'll be revealing our top five Christmas movies. All right. So, cool. we'll see you then. Really, that much taller than you? Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. You're not wearing shoes, huh? I knew I was gonna feel short. Maybe just my hair sticking up. Well, I got the hat on. It's up a little bit. I can't look embarrassed on my own show.